Government is committed to building a prosperous and developed Bangladesh, said Prime Minister. Awami League is now an internationally recognized autocratic party, said Mirza Fokrul. Roads and highways of the country are much better than the past, said Ubaidul Qadir. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to My TV English News. I'm Ashikur Zaman with you in the newsroom today. You are watching the headlines now. The details. None will remain homeless, landless and without address in Bangladesh, says Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, and her government is working to implement that target. She said this while virtually distributing 32,904 houses to the beneficiaries at 492 upuzilas across the country in the third phase under the Astroyan 2 project. The Prime Minister joined the handing over ceremony from her official Ganubhavan residence today. She said her government is committed to building a prosperous and developed Bangladesh and bringing smiles on the faces of everyone by giving them an improved and better life as envisioned by Father of the Nation. BNP Secretary General Mirza Fokhrul Islam Alumgir has accused the government of being completely dependent on bureaucrats and law enforcement agencies. He made the remarks at an exchange meeting with journalists at his residence in Thakurgao today. The BNP Secretary General also remarked that the Awami League is now an internationally recognized dictatorship and autocratic party. <laughs> And Bridges Minister Obaidul Qadir has urged the transport owners and workers not to collect extra fare from homebound passengers ahead of Eid. He made the call during a briefing at his office in the Secretariat today, mentioning that the roads and highways of the country are much better than the past. The minister said that necessary instructions have been given at the field level as well as to be vigilant so that there is no misery in the roads. Princess Mary Elizabeth Donaldson of Denmark has arrived in Cox's Bazaar on the second day of her three-day visit to Bangladesh. Deputy Commissioner Mohammad Mahmudur Rashid, Mahmudur Rashid and Superintendent of Police Mohammad Hassanuz Zaman greeted Princess Donaldson at the airport on Monday. Meanwhile, Princess Mary Elizabeth Donald is visiting the Rohingya camp in Ukhia today. On the other hand, on the occasion of the arrival of the Princess of Denmark, a festive mood is prevailing in Shamnagar of Shatkira. She is expected to visit some houses in Pultali village adjacent to Sundarbans tomorrow. The whole village is overjoyed at her arrival. However, on the occasion, strict security measures have been taken to avoid untoward incident. A select court has sentenced the prime accused to lifetime imprisonment and another to four years behind bars in case filed over the attempted murders in the case filed over attack on renowned writer Dr. Muhammad Zafar Iqbal on the campus of Shah Jalal University and Science and Technology back in 2018. Judge Nurul Amin Biplav of the Stilet Anti-Terrorism Tribunal pronounced the verdict in the presence of six accused in the case. On March 3, 2018, during a program on the open stage of Shah Jalal University of Science and Technology, Jafar Iqbal was attacked. Students and teachers present at the event apprehended the silent Faisal and handed him over to the law enforcement agencies. is selling the platform to billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk in a deal valued at 44 billion US dollar. The sale was a dramatic shift for the boat which had originally maneuvered to block Musk from taking the social media network private. Musk had taken a major stake in the firm earlier this month before lining up the last week some 46.5 billion US dollar in financing to push forward with the purchase. Twitter board chair Brett 
Taylor said the body conducted a thoughtful and comprehensive process to assess Elon's proposal with a deliberate focus on value, certainty and financing according to the statement. Under the leadership of King Jong-un, North Korea has become an invincible power. The world cannot ignore them and no one will even be able to touch it. North Korea state news agency KCNA reports that the country's military has a history of military gain and that its military has two types of weapons, both offensive and defensive. They are capable of fighting any modern war. The leader King Jong-un was praised for his talented military ideology, outstanding military guidance, and unparalleled moral and courage. We are about to the end the headlines once again. Government is committed to building a prosperous and developed Bangladesh, said Prime Minister. Awami League is now an internationally recognized autocratic party, said Mirza Fukhrul. Roads and highways of the country are much better than the past, said Ubaidul Qadir. Elon Musk is buying Twitter for a deal valued at 44 billion US dollar. Juventus beat Sassuolo by 2-1 in the Italian Serie That's all for now. To watch our news online, please visit YouTube slash MyTV News. To watch our program, please visit YouTube slash MyTV Bangla and Facebook slash MyTV Bangla. Our next news bulletin will be telecast in Bangla at 7.30 p.m. Stay tuned. Allah Hafiz.